Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our service of morning prayer. It is Saturday, the 1st of May. Happy May Day, everybody. It's lovely to be with you for our uh, morning prayer this morning. Um, and I just want to try and get the comments somewhere that I can see them. I think I found a workaround. You might know we've been having trouble with the... Um, the comments on Facebook Live not really appearing in a very helpful place, and I think I found a slight workaround, but I won't know until somebody comments. So I hope you're. Ah, oh, there we go, Barbara. Good morning. Right, there we go. I can see some comments. I can't see myself, but I can see the comments, so that's all good. Lovely. Well, I hope everybody's doing okay. Morning, Diana. Morning, Amanda. Uh, it is Saturday the 1st of May, and um, it's the feast day of Philip and James, the Apostles, two of the perhaps, uh, less well-known Apostles, but two of the Apostles nonetheless. So our readings today come from Psalm 146, and from James chapter 1, uh, verses 1 to 12. So we'll come on to those in a little bit. And apologies if I'm looking a little bit... Well, if I sort of Seem a bit stiff this morning, rather than it. Uh, we went for a walk. Lucy and I went for a walk with some friends with Luca yesterday afternoon, um, all the way over to the um, Stew Pony, um, and we got to the canal there. And then I looked at the time, and it was ten to three, and I had to pick Luca up, uh, Toby up from school at three o'clock. No, ten past three. Um, so I was just about to leg it down the canal to get back to pick up. Uh, Toby and Luca decided that he wanted to come with me, so I ran, <laughs> I ran uh, the best part of two miles with Luca on my shoulders for most of it um, in about 25 minutes yesterday, which I was quite impressed that I could even do, um, but I am really quite feeling it this morning, <laughs> so if I sort of just, you know, topple over, that's probably why. Anyway, I've had some uh, paracetamol and all is well. <laughs> Good morning everybody in the comments, nice to see you all. So as I say, uh, Psalm 146, James chapter 1, and uh, it is morning prayer on the feast day of Philip and James the Apostles. So shall we pause ourselves for a moment as we begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. So let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. So our psalm this morning is Psalm 146. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. As long as I have any being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any human power, for there is no help in them. When their breath goes forth, they return to the earth. On that day, all their thoughts perish. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong, and bread to those who hunger. The Lord looses those that are bound. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and the widow. 
but the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign for ever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. Lord of all, our breath and being come from you, yet our earthly end is dust. As you loose the bound and feed the hungry, so bring us in your mercy through the grave and gate of death to the feast of eternal life, where you reign for evermore. Amen. Amen. It's a wonderful, wonderful psalm. That is helpful to remember. Um, and we pick up on that a little bit in the in the James reading that we'll come to in a minute, where it talks about God giving justice to those that suffer wrong and bread to those who hunger, uh, watching over the stranger in the land, upholding the orphan and the widow. That actually, we are called to do that on God's behalf as well. So God does all of those things, but one of the ways that he does that is through us, through our looking out for those who are, as it were, strangers in the land, uh, particularly those perhaps who are refugees, those who are migrants uh, at the moment is one of the key ways, and upholding those who grieve, those who mourn, feeding those who are hungry, supporting the food bank. All that sort of practical stuff that we do, that is an outworking of God showing his love for those who are in need. And the Bible is very clear that God has a particular care for those who are vulnerable, those who are in need, and that's something that we as Christians need to uh, follow, support them uh, along with God. So there we go, that's Psalm 146, and a little ramble. And uh, now our New Testament reading is from James chapter 1 and verses 1 to 12. James, a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion. Greetings. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to you. But ask in faith, never doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For the doubter, being double-minded and unstable in every way, must not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Let the believer who is lowly boast in being raised up, and the rich in being brought low, because the rich will disappear like a flower in the field. For the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the field, its flower falls and its beauty perishes. It's the same with the rich. In the midst of a busy life, they will wither away. Blessed is anyone who has endured temptation. Such a one has stood the test and will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we have our Easter responsory. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? And so we come to our prayers of intercession. Do share in the comments, people, places, situations for prayer, for thanksgiving. And um, I'll weave the ones that I see on the live feed on the St Peter's page into the prayers, but do if you see any comments uh, that are left either now or through the day, do pray for them. This is a, a shared prayer. It's not just the person who's on camera who's praying. We're all called to pray for one another, to support one another. So almighty and everlasting God, 
We thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we pray this day for healing for Elizabeth, for Sue, for Mark, Nigel, Fiona, for Ian. We pray for street pastors preparing to walk in Jesus' footsteps this weekend and care and show God's love for those who are in a more vulnerable position. Who are in need. Pray for their ministry. We pray for Tudor on end of life care. We pray for Ella and Kate. Pray for Lindsay, for Jerry, for a friend with brain cancer. Pray for the people of India and Brazil. We pray for Chris, Meg and Raphael, for Sue, Andrew, Francis and Liz. We pray for Adrian. David and Maureen, for Diane and Jill, for Sue and Mary. We pray for Tim's mum, pray for Clive, Yvonne, Pat, Harry, Timothy, Norman. We pray for Eileen, who's having an operation today. So we lift all of these and any others either left in the comments or known to each one of us or known only to you, Lord. We commend ourselves and them to your mercy and protection. in care homes, still under restrictions. We pray for all who are lonely and in need. So keep us good, Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low we may rejoice in your comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from the, your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And the collect prayer for Philip and James. Almighty Father, whom truly to know is eternal life, teach us to know your Son Jesus Christ as the way, the truth and the life we may follow the steps of your holy apostles Philip and James and walk steadfastly in the way that leads to your glory through Jesus Christ your Son our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God now and forever. Amen. So rejoicing in God's new creation as our Saviour taught us so we pray. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So may the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen. Thank you so much for... Joining me for morning prayer this morning. It's been lovely to with, be with you on this first day of May, beginning of bank holiday weekend. I do hope and uh, pray that you're all keeping well and that you're able to get outside, enjoy the... Well, it's not very sunny out there today, but enjoy a bit of sunshine and um, the beauty of God's creation. So whatever the rest of the day holds for you, I do hope and pray that it's a good and a blessed one. And take care, everyone. Bye.